Here's one. He just couldn't help himself. I, I watched him. He just hit that so hard. Oh What's up, everybody? Welcome back. Had an amazing day today. Filming the intro at the end of the day, but I filmed another one. It was horrible, but whatever. Today was by far one of the most unique, craziest, awesomest fishing days I've ever had in my life, and I want y'all guys to check it out. So let's just jump into it. Let's go. All right, guys. Back up here. My spot. I've been up here several times. Looks like somebody else has been here. Somebody's been sneaking in my honey hole. So we come up here, but we're going to go back down that way and up this way and around this way. We're going to go to a different spot and fish after this spot due to the fact that I got another spot that I think's probably got some big fish in it. Water's down here a lot more than it was last time I was here. Water's clear too. I just love it here. Like, I can't help but, like, I think about fishing other places. And I've been to other places. I went kayak fishing, like I said earlier, and just messed the video up completely. But I keep just thinking of this place. It's like, this is my. This is where I want to live. I want to build a house here. I want to build a house and live here forever. This place is freaking amazing. God, I thought there would be something sitting over there. Maybe. My spot doesn't look so juicy today. It it's might not be where to go, but I think my other spot might be better where I'm going to be going. But I had to hit this spot because, well... It's just produced such great fish here lately. I had to come up here and hit it. See what's up. I had to do it. It's funny, I'd like to know how these fish migrate, like how they move around, where they go, and like, I mean, like today, the water's further down. I can see in my hole so much better. It doesn't mean there's nothing there, but I wonder if I could find that jig from the other day. Look at that. Right off the bat, I caught that damn line. That jig's laying over there from the other day. Look, I see some fish right there. Some nice size ones. those are it's like a beach here it's really nice today it's so warm I almost want to get in the water are those fish those are fish those are all like trout or big those are all bass oh my god you can see them those are bass look at that one right there Those are all, like I could see them laying long ways, but I was like, what is that? Those are bass. Loads of them. God, look at the size of that one. That's a monster. I mean, there's some big ones. There's just tons of them. They're everywhere. Look at that one over there. I mean, they're all... I, lost, I looked down there and I was like, are those rocks? God, there are some monsters in here. Like, I see, like, several huge ones. Like, there's a couple, like, right there that are just... Nothing's moving, though. They kind of look like rocks, but they're not rocks. They're just big ass fish. That one right there is a absolute pig. The water's so clear and there's so much sun on these guys right now that they're just not feeding. 
want to think of some other way of catching them. God, there's some absolute gorillas in here. I mean gorillas. Like, I'm looking down there and I'm seeing two or three fish that are... Look, they're following it. They were following that for a second. I mean, there's one right there. I don't know if y'all guys can see this. But there's one right there that is an absolute beast. Like, look at that guy. That is a monster. Smallmouth. And there's another gorilla over there and another one. But that guy right there is an absolute tank. I mean, like... I got an idea. I might throw a... Water's not moving nearly as fast through here. I mean, I see them back over here on the raft. I mean, this place is loaded. Like, I thought they were loaded the other day. I don't know what the hell. This place is, like, chalked, but... Nothing's going for this right now. It worked the other day, but it doesn't seem like it's going to work today. The light's just too bright. But I'm just like blown away at how many big fish there are right here. I mean, there's some absolute gorillas. I'm just like, holy God, but I ain't getting, they're not committing on this. I'm getting no commitment. So I think I'm gonna do is, since they're just hanging across the bottom, is this, they're not moving. They're not moving that much. And maybe it's the color, maybe it's the water so clear and the sun shining right on them. And they're afraid to like, move too much. But they're just not, this isn't working today. So what I'm gonna do is, is uh, guys riding through here with the horses. I'm gonna go put on like a crawfish imitation, little Ned rig. It's crazy, they sit so still that they uniformly look like rocks laying out there. They're not. They're not rocks. Let's see if I can find where those big ones are. There's some right there. God, they're just schooling together. There they go towards it. There he is. God, I've seen him hit. That was awesome. That was awesome. I don't know if y'all can see that. God, look at that one next to it. Just absolute beast of a fish. That other one. Oh my goodness. This is a nice small mouth right here. Let's get him over here. This is a good one. It's a real good one. Let's keep him off that. I mean, that's a good fish. Oh my God. Just seeing him come up and hit it like that was just like, I mean, not up, but he come across and land. Told y'all guys, I thought if I switched to the bottom like that, you would catch one of these guys. There's a couple of big, huge ones in there. Look at that one. Beautiful fish. He's got some kind of weird. What is that? Kind of dead scale or something. God, look at that fish. I just can't help it, guys. I just keep coming up here because it's just so much fun. And seeing it like this, I mean, look at the water. It's crystal clear. Oh my God, what a beautiful fish. Fat little smallmouth. It's just so addictive. Let's put him back in the water. Look at him. Get another one. I wish I could have got that big one. They were all just moving towards it. There's a that one right there. That one's a big ass one. These fish, they just eat these crawfish, so it's like it's a no-brainer, really. There goes one. Oh my god, it's a big fish. There he goes towards it. 
look at that one. Cruising in 100 miles an hour. Oh my goodness, guys. I've never seen anything like this in my life. Look at that one. Look at them all. There he is. Look at all those guys. Oh my God, I gotta get like some way to put a camera down there or something. It's unreal. Like it's unreal. It's like this is heaven. Like this is like fish heaven right now. Like if I die today and I go to heaven, I want it to be like this. Like this is amazing. It's absolutely amazing. Look at all those fish, guys. Just look at all those fish following it. God, I hope y'all can see that. I mean, there's some tanks. Like it's like almost like stock trout. There's so many of these guys in here. It's unbelievable. Here, oh, let's get this guy up here. Oh, what a beautiful smallmouth. They're just going crazy over this thing. You notice how I worked that little, that little um, swim bait through there? Nothing. Let's get this guy back in the water before this car comes through. There he goes back. Sorry guys, I don't want everybody and their mama to ride by and see, because a lot of people stop, it's talk to me and all kinds of stuff. Absolutely bonkers. Like, I'm losing my mind. I may not even go to that other spot. Just due to the fact that I'm almost like, I'm literally sight targeting fish here. Like, I can see the big ones. When you throw it across there, it's almost like they can't help themselves. They have to, and there's a couple like, there's one right in there that is an absolute beast. I mean, he's got to be at least four pounds. It might be that one I caught the other day, but he is a gorilla. Without this ultra light line, this four pound is really, and it's fluorocarbon. There's one. He's going right for it. It's like as soon as it hits, he's circling. There's just too many damn big fish. There's one. You can see them, they get all like, they get all worked up. Oh, he come off. There's like a little school that's just, see, I'm kind of curious. Like these fish up here are acting a lot different than these. I think these are smallies and those may be trout because they're real. God, there's a gorilla right there. An absolute pig keep seeing that fish and he's spooky there they go for it they just can't help themselves god there's so many So many, it's unbelievable. I've got them worked up a little bit. There's one, he just couldn't help himself. I, I watched him, he just hit that so hard. Oh my God, that's a nice small mouth too. Let's so get it back over here. Every time I hit that log, I'm scared though, because they dig on that log hard. Damn it, guys. Look at that fish. That's a good one. That's a big smallmouth. So much fun. My God, this is fun. So much fun. I mean, look at that crystal clear water. Fudge, man. So fun. Beautiful smallmouth. Beautiful fish. Oh my goodness, look at how beautiful that fish is. Uh-oh. Told you, as soon as you catch a fish, people stop. Look how beautiful that smallmouth is. Sorry, guy. I bloodied his nose. That pretty pigment skin. You can see that blood come right out. My God, look at that fish. Absolutely beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Look at that tail. God, fish is healthy. That is a healthy smallmouth. 
God, it's great catching these fish. Absolutely great. That's a good fish. It's close to a pound and a half, two pounds. That's a great smallmouth. Let's let that guy go. Look at that guy go. God, let's catch another one. It's like I can see them, so it makes it like, I mean, I'm just sitting here sock casting for these guys and having an absolute blast. I don't think, I mean, this is definitely going to be one of my, I mean, I've had some great times here. You see why I keep coming back here. I just can't help myself. It's like, if you can imagine the perfect fishing scenario, it's beautiful outside. It's sunny, blue skies, crystal clear water, big fish, and just, just absolute fun. I mean, man, what a great day. Some spook sideways. It's funny because when they hit it, they just, they crush it. They just, I've watched them just swing on it with a 10 pound hammer. There are some gorillas out there. You can see them. They're just like monsters. There's one. Not super big or nothing, but he feels good. Look at all the fish fall on him. So much fun. Now he's pretty good size. He's not bad. He's pretty good, actually. Wow, that's a beautiful smallmouth. Look at the one following behind it. That's a monster. Beautiful fish. Beautiful fish. Beautiful smallmouth. Look at that guy. Howdy. <laughs> that's cool. It's a pretty little smallmouth. <laughs> All right, guys, let's let this guy go. Guy stopped to watch me bring him in. Beautiful fish. Oh my god, these fish are just just gorgeous. Let's throw him up high and get him in there. Mm. Gone. Well, I was going to put a, I may still put a heavier jig head on there. Threw over there and just letting it bounce because this is just a one tenth ounce Z Man jig head. I feel like if I put a heavier head on here, drag up bottom just a little bit better. I think those fish are just, then they really couldn't, just couldn't resist it. I don't think they'd be able to resist that. These smallmouth, they eat these, tons of these crawfish in these creeks. I mean, as a kid, I grew up digging around in these creeks and look, here's one chasing. See, those act, those fish act so much different than those other ones. There's one. See a little bit more of a drag there. I kind of thought, thought I'd throw it across there and drag it a little slower. Get that drag going. Good little smallmouth. Give him a little drag. Keep remembering I've only got four pound test on here. <clears throat> I'm definitely gonna get in this water before I leap. Beautiful little fish. Nice smallmouth. All the fish I've caught today have been nice. Every one of them. Nice little smallmouth. Smaller than the rest, I think, but beautiful nonetheless. I mean, just beautiful. I'm definitely, it's hot enough today. That water feels nice enough that before the day is done, I'm gonna lay out there in that water. All right, buddy, let's let him go watch this. Boof. Disappears. Days like today, it's just, Awesome. Let's get this off and we'll put this on and then we're going to get in the water. And we're going to see if we can get an eyes on them guys. Let's go get in it, Mountain Man. Oh. It's, it is. Oh, God. It's so cold. It's so cold. Ooh. It's cold, guys. Ooh. Oh, that's a wake you up right here. Let's get you going. Ah. Oh. Oh, man, that's cold. <laughs> That'll make you feel alive right there. That'll make you feel alive. Oh, Lord. 
Whew. Oh, what? Look how pretty this one. Sorry, guys, I'm not all of it. I'm <laughs> pretty That'll make you feel alive, though. See whatever those are, but I can't see them. Oh, kind of feels good once you get used to the water. Oh, there that kind of looks like a smallmouth. A little bit. I can't tell. I can't see nothing. It's kind of funny. People ride by and you can see them looking at me, and they're like, "Who's that crazy guy in the water?" It's funny because I think a lot of these people, they don't, you know, they're normally like, this whole situation has caused a lot of people to get in nature, which is cool. I mean, nothing wrong with it. But they see a guy in the water like this, they're like, just like you know, they think, God, that guy's really getting bored, you know. But I do this stuff all the time. This is normally, <laughs> I do this every year. I mean, I'm always in the water. I like the water. I have been since I was a kid. What I want to do is come to these places like this with a snorkel and like snorkel and show y'all stuff and dig around, see what we can find. That'd be kind of cool, wouldn't it? I think so. Well, I don't know what those fish were. We got to look at them a little bit on here. I think I got, got them on camera. They may be... Uh, it's funny because the bass, they move around a lot. But whatever those are, they sit kind of still. And they may be bass. I don't know. They may just be like special bass or something. <laughs> they just may be a little slow. But um, they may be trout. That's what I think. Because I've caught trout right here before. Not a lot, but a few. Cause they'll make it up from the main river and I think they stalk on up river so I don't know I know one thing I burnt this spot <laughs> <laughs> really burn it but it's okay I fish it they're here I fish for a while I try to get the big one but that one big smallmouth it had a tailor and it looked like a male and it's probably spawning I mean, more than likely so that's a good thing. Hopefully it is. And it could have been that big female. It's one of the biggest ones. When I first got here, I seen a couple of tanks. I mean, a couple of big, big ones. And then they disappeared, and there was one that kind of hung around for a while. But, man, just seeing them. Just seeing them is a big part. But they probably go up and down. I mean, they probably go up river and down river. I mean, they're strong fish. They probably move around all they want to. Well, guys, once again, we had a great day up here. It was really good. Caught a lot of nice bass. May go down and stop to the other pond, but I think I'm gonna wait and come back in a few days and fish that area. But man, we've been here for about three hours. So I'm about ready to go home. I'm hungry. I'm gonna get something to eat. I'm tired. Man, what a day. What a beautiful, beautiful day catching smallmouth bass in this beautiful river up here in the Gray Smoky Mountains. I appreciate y'all for watching this video. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. And as always, I'll see y'all guys later. Y'all guys take it easy. See you.